This week, we want to show you how to make meat dragon. It's a lazy people's perfect bazi that requires zero pleading skill. And sourcing CC too. Doesn't need dragon meat? Regular meat's fine. Joking aside, meat dragon is this puffy steamed roll filled with meat that's usually made with pork or beef. Uh, it's a classic home cooking dish from the North China Plain, and probably the most famous one is from Beijing, which is also often called Lan Long Lazy Dragon. It bears the name dragon because the steam roll kind of looks like a dragon napping in a steamer, right? Anyway, this is a very simple weeknight dinner sort of fare, and let's show you how it's made. First, let's make our dough. Here we have 230 gram flour. To that, add in a quarter teaspoon salt, half teaspoon yeast. That's a little bit more than two grams. And then drizzle in 126 gram water, which is 55% hydration for our Chinese flour. You may want to up your water quantity by five to eight grams if your flour's thirsty. Mix it into grainy bits like this and get on your hands and knead it into a ball. Then transfer the dough onto a working surface for easier kneading. Smear it outwards, then roll it back like this to help develop gluten. Repeat this in all directions of the dough and knead it for about five to six minutes. Then fold it inwards and round it up to a ball. Put it back to the bowl, cover and let it rise for one hour. While the dough's resting, let's make our meat filling. First, let's sort the aromatics. Here we got 25 grams Da Tong Wao Shanian. Peel off the very first uh, outer layer, then cut it in half lengthwise. Then cut it in half again and splitting it in four directions. Align them and cut it into half centimeter long pieces and set this aside. Next, we got 25 gram ginger. Peel off the skin with a knife or a spoon. Then slice it into thin pieces, then sliver, and finally a mince. Then set that aside. Finally, let's infuse some hua jiao Sichuan peppercorn water. So just combine half teaspoon hua jiao together with six tablespoon hot boiling water and cover and set that aside, let it come to room temperature. Now let's get to the pork. Here's 200 gram Boston butt with about 30% fat. You can also use ham or shoulder, or you can also use minced pork, but it will be preferred if you can give your minced pork a couple minutes of chopping to give it a better texture. So first dice the pork into strips and then half inch pieces, and then we can start mincing. You can use two knives to spit it up. And once you get to this pasty-ish texture, it took me about 10 minutes, put it into a big bowl and we can season. So seasoning is fairly simple, uh, but with one characteristic ingredient, huang jiang, which is a northern style dry fermented bean paste, which is also the same sauce that's used in fried sauce noodles, jia jiang mian. However, for this recipe, uh, it's a lot less strict than jia jiang mian. Like you don't have to have to use this. So you can sub it with a uh, red miso or the more liquidy type of uh, soybean paste. And some people even just straight up use soy sauce. So you can just season according to what you have. Right, to season the pork, we'll need a teaspoon each of salt and MSG and quarter teaspoon each of chicken bouillon and white pepper powder, and 15 gram of that huangjiang paste, half tablespoon liaozhou, aka Shaoxing wine, the minced ginger, and that six tablespoons of huajiao infused water, but discard the kernels, and optionally a quarter teaspoon dark soy sauce for color. Now a quick mix and stir to stir in one direction till everything's all combined and sticky that you can start to see streaks on the side of the bowl. Then grab the whole mixture and slap it for about 20 to 30 times for a better texture. Then finally add in the minced wild shanian plus 10 grams of toasted sesame oil. Mix till combined and then our meat fillings ready. And now our dough should be ready too. So just Take it and let's roll it out. First, slightly dust your work surface, 
Take the dough, press it down with your palm to flatten it into a rectangleish shape. Then use a rolling pin, press down at the center to create a cross. And from that trough, roll it out a couple times for length. Then twist it 90 degrees, and from the other trough, roll it a couple more times for width. Our goal here is to create a rectangleish shape. So periodically roll out the thicker edges on four corners to expand the angles like this. Keep rolling it out. When we got something that's about 40 centimeter long, 25 centimeter wide, and two to three milliliter thick, we can apply the filling. So take the meat filling, dot it more or less evenly over the dough sheet on six spots. Then smear it and spread it back and forth with a spatula at all four directions, like you are flattening a cake batter. Leave about one to two centimeter on the far end from you,、uh, about three to four centimeters on both left and right ends, as well as the side that's close to you. And then take the far side from you and gently fold it over like this, with roughly a one inch fold. Then keep on rolling the whole sheet inward. Give it a gentle pat pat, and try to roll it relatively tight. And when you get to the close end with no feelings left, grab the whole lock, roll it outward 90 degrees so that the remaining bit is on top. Then take the center point of the dough, gently pull and tug it over. Pinch it onto the roll, then start pinching from the center towards the two ends. Make sure you pinch it tightly so that it doesn't break when steaming. Once this long side is sealed, grab your rolling pin, press it almost all the way down to the bottom on the two open ends to seal it, but don't cut that off though. Optionally, trim up some dough to make it look like a dragon tail or dragon head. Up to you. Now have a steamer ready and line it with a cheesecloth or some parchment paper with holes on it. Gently grab the lock and carefully transfer it over to the steamer. Arrange it into some dragon napping position. Then cover and let it proof over 35 degrees Celsius water for 20 minutes. After proofing, it got bigger already. Now just turn the heat to high directly. Let it come to a boil. When you can see steam coming out, turn the heat to medium high and let it steam for 20 minutes. 20 minutes later, heat off. Let it sit inside for another two minutes before we do anything. And then now we can take the steamer out, and our big fluffy meat dragon is done. Carefully transfer it over onto a serving board. Flip. And carefully take off the cloth or the parchment paper, flip it back, and then cut it along the curl into four to five centimeter wide pieces. And now this juicy meat dragon is ready to be devoured. Perfect to go with some thin porridge or tomato and egg drop soup. So besides this pork with Welsh onion filling, beef is another popular option. And traditionally,、uh, lazy dragon meat dragon is filled with、uh, other fillings when meat was not abundant, such as chives and egg,、uh, Welsh onion with fat cubes, or even just sesame and salt. But the core idea is the same. It's lazy man's perfect bazi. But if you want to up your meat dragon filling game. Uh, please check out the panel for more seasoning tips, in addition to the recipe in the description box. And of course, thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon and subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos.